Magnets are cool and magnets are fun, but do magnets really belong in your phone? Join me as we talk about the new MagSafe features of the iPhone 12. Hello, Orc Universe. Welcome to the workshop where we unbox, review, and react so you don't have to. Recently, I did an unboxing of the iPhone 12 Pro and had a review to it. Mixed reaction. But now we're gonna take a look at some of the accessories and the cases that come along with it, let you know if it's worth it, and tell you if I think it's worth it and what you should probably buy. For this video, I'll be using the silver stainless steel and white backed iPhone, and you'll find out why that's important in a minute. But first, I need you to go down and click that subscribe button. Go over to the reminders, set that so you know when more videos come out, and please like and share this video so we can continue Continue to grow the Orc universe. Now, if you watch my unboxing video for this iPhone 12, you already know that I went ahead and picked up the Spec Presidio clear case to protect it. But Apple is now bragging about all the new accessories and all the cool things that this phone can do. One of those things is the MagSafe and the MagSafe accessories. With it, they say that each piece magnetically snaps together like magic. You can snack, 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 snack. You can stack on the case, the wallet, and whatever else you want to without fear and just go. They even say it's safe for credit cards. They say that the magnets align perfectly to give you a quick charge every time. Now here's the kicker. Apple's already come out and said that there's some issues with the MagSafe and the MagSafe accessories. The MagSafe wallet is supposed to hold your credit cards, but if you get that and the MagSafe charger back to back, it's gonna erase all of them. The other problem is that the MagSafe charger has been smacking the back of these phones so hard that some of the cases have been getting marks. Without a case on it, who knows what that MagSafe charger is gonna do to the back of this phone over time. So, it only makes sense that if you're gonna use the MagSafe accessories, you're gonna have to go ahead and get yourself a MagSafe safe case. Now I started with the spec case and got the mag safe because I want to see how well it works and what that does is give us the perfect opportunity to see which one works better. Now truth be told this is not the first time I'm opening up the spec clear case, the perfect clear case. You can see that the plastic is nice and clean but even with just a week and a half of use there is a little bit of damage on the back. You can see a few scratches there and about a week after that I got the iPhone 12 clear MagSafe case. What's interesting about the MagSafe case is the round magnet attachment that they have on the case here and a small bar they use to line up the MagSafe accessories and mounts. I'm not sure why, but this seems to have caused a lot of strife amongst a lot of reviewers on having this stripe here pissing them off for some reason because it's not so clear or that it takes away from the phone itself. Taking the phone in and out of the case as you see has become pretty easily once you figure it out. Place the side with the silence button in first and it snaps in and out fairly easily. The spec case is nice. You can see through it although it does kind of hide that stainless steel silver that you see on the outside there. What is also nice about it it's very nicely recessed around the camera there and it's recessed says pretty well as well along the screen there, protecting the screen a little better as well as protecting the cameras. Now snapping the phone into the MagSafe case is also nice and easy. You see it clicks right in. It also is recessed around the camera, not as deep, but it does provide a little protection for the camera itself when you put it down on a surface. It's not gonna actually make contact. A small incline as well on the front side, kind of protecting the screen, not as deep as the spec case, but still providing some protection for when you put the phone down on either side. And like I said, a lot of people were complaining about the circle and the line for the MagSafe. I don't think it takes away from this phone at all. The white on white means you don't actually really see it too much. And with the MagSafe case, I can see that the silver stainless steel border is a lot cleaner and nicer. The other interesting thing about the MagSafe case is the bottom is completely open as well, allowing all the speakers and a swipe up to be a little more simple. This is good considering that the MagSafe cases originally were going out with no holes in the bottom for any of the speakers. They seem to have fixed that by just taking the entire bottom out. Now I wanna know, are there actually magnets inside this phone? It looks like there are. You can take a, take it a washer here, it sticks to the phone. There are magnets now inside the phone. You can see that they're not lying about that. They're not that strong though. 
As for the case, they said that the magnets were in the case as well. You can see they were not lying about that either. Now, of course you can go online and get a cheap case for your phone. Nothing's stopping you from doing that and I'm sure it'll protect it. The spec case is gonna put you back about 40 bucks. However, it does have a lifetime warranty, a 13 foot drop protection, according to that. I will not be testing that. And that's simply what it is. It's a case for your phone. The real question is the MagSafe case and the MagSafe in the phone itself. They're magnets. How good are they? Let's play with them for a little bit. So let's go with an everyday object that you might want to stick your phone on, the fridge. As you can see, without the case, it just slides down. This is not working. Let's put something underneath it and see. There it goes. It sticks, but it needs something to stick. Oh, oh. With the case on, this is now phone and case, double magnet, still is not holding on. We put it on top of something and we see it is, it's stacking, actually, we put it on top of something and we see it is sticking a lot better. It's actually holding a lot better than just the phone by itself. This looks like something useful that you might be able to use, but in the end, you'll probably wind up getting a magnetic mount anyway. So as you can see, the magnets in the phone and the case itself aren't that great. It's not gonna keep your phone up if you try to stick it on something. It's more just gonna kinda keep it in place. You're gonna need something stronger. But what about the car? What accessories do they have for the car that can make your travel a little easier? And conveniently, I just installed a magnetic mount in my truck. So let's go see how these cases and this phone work with that mount. I don't want to use that transition. Let's use this one instead. Now see, wasn't that a cool transition? I got that from TikTok. So I bought this mount for my truck here. It's a Ram mount. It's just a magnet. It screws into the dash. Nice, simple, easy. It's supposed to work with these metal plates that stick to your case. So that's how it's supposed to work. But if this new phone has these magnets in the back of it, it should just work on its own, right? Let's find out. It holds. It's falling. It's continuing to fall. I'm not driving and it's still falling. All right, so obviously without the case on here, it's not holding. The magnet on the back of this thing's big and round and the smaller magnet here just aren't lining up. It doesn't, it's not holding, it's not working. An ideal of fairness, let's try it with the clear spec case, even though we already know this isn't gonna work. Obviously. So I guess we're gonna see what happens when we try the spec case, which I'm already not finding this promising, considering that it doesn't line up with the center here. You can see it doesn't, you can see the roundness of the circle doesn't line up with the size of the magnet. It doesn't work, but hey, let's be thorough. Let's put the case on the phone. We now have the phone magnet and the case magnet. We'll slap that on there and the same thing happens. It's falling. It falls, it falls, it falls, it falls. So I guess until they come out with a new holder for the truck, they have one so far. Belkin's come out with one that's for the MagSafe that attaches to your vent, which you don't want to use by the way, because when you have your heat coming out of the vent, it fries your effing phone. Also that Belkin one they have doesn't actually charge the phone. It doesn't plug in. As far as I can tell, all it does is just hold the phone onto this little vent thing, which is still bad for your phone, but it doesn't actually charge, which is the whole idea behind the MagSafe. So I guess in order for me to use this mount here, I had to take my clear spec case that I got and put these handy little, I either that round one or I have this big ugly square one that's gonna go on the back now. But now I have this nice clear spec case and we're gonna slap that big ugly black magnet on the back of there in order to get it to stick. <sighs> this is so disappointing. So as far as I'm concerned, this mount here, complete waste of money. Now here's the real pain in the ass. 
the MagSafe accessories, the phone, the case, they have that, they have just the charger itself, but the other accessories aren't made yet. The car charger, the car accessories, the car mount, the nightstand mount. I'm still waiting on Belkin for a nightstand mount that works with the MagSafe charger. They've come up with this new technology, but there's nothing that goes along with it. So I can't even tell you that much about the MagSafe accessories. I guess the wallet's cool. I don't have use for the wallet. I'd rather be able to put my phone on a charger, have it just stick there and be done with it. And hey, we will be able to test that. Just not today. So there it is. I guess stay tuned. We'll be back with more when the accessories arrive, when they're available and when we can actually try them out with the phone and see if they're actually worth it. So as I said in the 12 unboxing video, hold off, don't spend your money just yet. I'll keep testing out this phone here and see if it's something that you wanna spend your money on. So I'm Scott, this is Our Reviews Will Kill You. Thank you for hanging out with us and we'll see you in the next video.